Hey Hot Tots, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a Peloton review. As you can see, I bought one about a month ago and I wanted to review it for you guys and tell you all the details so you know what you're getting into when you buy a Peloton bike. Now there are tons of reviews out there, so definitely look at, uh, at other people's reviews, not just mine, but this is just from my own personal experience. So first I wanted to talk about in general, why did I want to get a Peloton? So my friend Dana had been talking to me about how she was going to buy a Peloton. She bought it, she got it about two months before I ordered mine and was just raving about it. Now her and I always love to go to Cycle 614. So we love to go to spin classes at our local biking place around here and I love spin classes. So first I was like, financially, does this make sense for me? You know, um, I like to try workout classes. I like to do those because for me, it's hard to find motivation to work really hard. Like, and I hate having to make up my own things to do at the gym because I'm just not good at it. It's not my forte. A lot of things aren't my forte and that's one of them. So once she got the bike, she loves spin as much as I do. And so she was telling me like, oh, she loved it. Here are all these things about it. And so I started looking into it. So one night I was on their website and I was not planning on buying the bike at this time, but <laughs> it happened. They get ya. The little chat box came up on the, the right hand side and there was someone like, I see you're looking at a bike. And I was like, you're not gonna get me sis. They got me, so joke's on me. <laughs> so first when I went on their website, before the chat box came up, I saw that they had different package options. I forget how many there were, but basically there was a more basic package where it's just the basic essentials, so just the bike, and I think that's it. Like maybe you could just buy the bike. I forget, the second one was the one I went for, so I went for like the middle ground one where you get the bike, the shoes, the weights, the mat that goes under the bike, um, the ear pods and the heart rate monitor. And then the last one you could get had like a, like a couple other things. I totally forget. I just remember I got the middle line. Um, the reason for it being that when I read reviews, I saw that a lot of people were like, Oh, I ended up spending this much money on biking shoes anyways, or I couldn't find the ones I needed on Amazon because there are a certain type of clip and yada yada. And every time I try to like cut corners, I always screw myself over. So I was like, okay, that's the one I would want if I were to get this. So at that time, this little chat box comes up, you know, and this person's like, hey, I see you're interested. And I was like, back it up, sister, you know? And um, she was like, so what's holding you back? What are you looking into? And I was like, well, I'm looking into this because when I looked through my money that I spent on spin classes last year, Wow, that was a lot of money I spent last year on spin classes, you guys. So at the place that I go to in Grandview, which is where I live in Columbus, Ohio, they are for one month unlimited spin, which is what I liked to do because I would go like five or six times a week. It was $180. And I know that that is crazy, but I literally don't do any other kind of workout. I don't work out as hard doing anything else. And I truly loved it so much. I would go every single day or at least six days a week. I mean, I was crazy. So to me, I was looking at the money and I was like, okay, so financially this would be worth it because once I get the bike paid off, it would only be $40 a month for the app. So the app is separate from the bike. The app that goes onto that tablet uh, up there, which I'll show you guys the bike here in a minute. Um, it is $40 a month. The first 30 days is free because you can get your bike. And then after 30 days of testing it out, you can send it back. So the chat box popped up and she was like, Hey, what's holding you back? And I told her, well, it is expensive. Um, I'm just like looking at all my options right now, you know, and I wasn't honestly going to buy. Well, then she said, well, what area do you live in? Can you give me your zip code? And I gave it to her and she said, well, lucky for you, we have a refurbished bike for 1600. I said, what? Because the bike was like about 2400 with all the things that I wanted. Um, and so I was like, what? And she's like, yeah. Um, so sometimes people like send the bikes back or um, they do the 30 day trial and something breaks or something happens. And so we can't sell those back at full price. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> 
So I asked her like, how much if I add the package, how much would it be? And she said, okay, it would come out to like 19 something. So first of all, it for me was about like $500 less than it would have been for other people. If I, and if I would have gotten the regular bike that they provide. Secondly, they have a payment option. So if you've ever heard of a firm, it's where you can do however many equal payments that equals the amount over a span of time and there's no additional cost. So they don't put interest or anything on it. And they let me do like, I got approved for up for 36 months of $50 a month. I was like, it's not gonna take me 36 months, but cool, I'll do that. So I signed up for that and what I do is I pay $50 a month if that's what I can afford that month, but I pay more on top of that if I can afford more. And so I will have this paid off before like the end of 2021 for sure. I'm not gonna need 36 months, but that just made me feel a lot better about the purchase because I felt like, okay, I'm not gonna have to stress about, okay, I'm gonna put this on my credit card, like grow interest on it. I don't wanna do that. So that's what ultimately made me decide to get the bike. Now, after I purchased the bike, it took two, almost three months to get the bike into my apartment. So because of COVID-19 and everything going on, they said that shipping or like dropping off the bike or bringing the bike in, they're having problems. They're having a lot more orders, obviously, because people can't go to the gym. So they were just overwhelmed. And so it was gonna take that long. I know that part sucked. I'm not really sure right now kind of what the situation is with the deliveries. I don't know if they've hired more people. I don't know if the timing is shorter because things are getting better. I'm honestly not sure. So it might still be three months until you get it. Now, when they came, they told me that before they would have brought it into wherever I want in the house and set it up for me. But because of everything going on and them not wanting to get anyone sick and for health reasons, they said that they can only bring it into my front door and after that, like or right by my front door or something like that, and after that, I have to set it up. Now, lucky for me, my guys were like, oh, it's coming right into your apartment, like right through your door. We'll set it up for you. So they were wonderful. They brought it right in my door. They set it all up. They showed me everything. It was so great. So my experience was awesome. Um, now, again, that might've been them kind of breaking the rules for me just because they saw that I'm in such a small apartment. It's coming into the front door and literally they had to walk five feet into my front door, you know? So they were just like, yeah, that's fine. Now, if you order, I would suppose if you live in a house or if you live in a bigger apartment where you want it in the basement or you want it in a cold other part of the house, it's not just right there. I don't assume that they'll do that for you, but it is on wheels. So as you'll see in my overview of it, which I'll show you here shortly, there are wheels in the front. So you just tip it back like a lawnmower type of situation and you just push it. So I could have done that myself if needed, um, but they did it for me, which was so nice. I think the only thing I would have been worried about if I had to set up myself was the tablet part because they put, they literally place that whole part with the screen onto the bike and secure it. So I think that's the only thing that would make me a little worried for myself because I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to stuff like that. But my delivery process was so seamless, so nice. These men were so wonderful, um, but yeah. So here's the bike, you guys. It has these little circles underneath that you have to spin to tighten them against the ground. Sorry for all this cat hair, that's not cute. Um, and there's two up here, two down here. So that's what tightens it to the floor so it's not wobbling. Mine is very secure. They do it for you if you get it set up and they actually bring it in. If not, you have to do it yourself. There are two wheels on the front, like I told you. So you can lift this forward and wheel it by just those two front wheels. There is a thing right here that you can do tighter or looser to put this up higher or lower. This, you can stop yourself, put on more resistance or take off resistance. That's what this is for. Here are the pedals. So this is where you lock yourself in. Here are the shoes. And you can see right here, you literally just fit that into there, like down in and it clicks down. And then you have the same thing here, this lever, you can loosen or tighten it to bring your seat up or down. And there is a holder for your weights. 
This also, you push this in and you can push your seat forward or backward. It's really, really, really nice. Very silent. You do have to hook it up to a power source. So keep that in mind. And yeah, they also, if you get the package, these are the headphones that come with the package. It also comes with a heart monitor, but I honestly don't ever use the heart monitor. There's a water bottle holder, the screen. So to turn on the screen, originally you push this button. If it's already been turned on and it's just sleeping, you can just touch the screen and it'll come on. And then you hit your profile. Then on here, it just shows how many times you've worked out. It shows different classes. You can keep moving up. Um, you can pick instructors, all of that. This is your profile. So you can see your profile, how many days you've been spinning, your total workouts, all of that. There's a home button, program. So this is all the different programs you can use that aren't just cycling. So you can grab other ones. Classes, so different classes that have been happening. You can put in here like your favorite instructor and find all of them or the length if you wanted to just do a 10 minute and so on. There's music genre, class type, schedule. So this is just, if you wanted to do live classes, this is telling you when these live classes are going live. Challenges, I honestly have no idea. I've never done those and more. So this is the scenic route I'm talking about. You can do roads, all this stuff, and then the just ride where it just keeps your stats as you go. So when you're done with the bike and you just want it on sleep, you just push this once and it goes to sleep. But that's the bike for you guys. Like I said, I have it literally right in my main door. Um, so that's why they set it up for me. But there it is. And this is what I'm saying you can move around. So you can move this and turn this whole thing. I have not yet. And I'm honestly scared. But you can. I've seen people move and turn this screen over this way so that they can then do stuff on the floor and do some of the other classes. Also, just to show you this button here, this plus and minus, my friend Dana just told me that's how you turn up and down the instructor or the music. So you can push it up and then it, as you're in a ride, you have to do it. And then it'll say, do you want the instructor to be louder kind of type of thing or the music and you can up the music or up the instructor. So a little, tips and tricks. I also do have a coupon code. So if you do decide to get it, I'll pop it up here on the screen. I'll also have in the description box below, you get a hundred dollars off your purchase. And I think they give me money towards like a Peloton clothing or something, but they're always out of everything, but just get the hundred dollars off. If you have another friend that you love, that's one of your good friends, like use their code. They have a code. Everyone gets a code when you purchase a bike. So definitely use their code, but just in case you don't have one and you want the bike and you want $100 off, use my code down in the description box below. It'll get you $100 off. Oliver's here. Being a brat. So when they did deliver my bike, they showed me everything. So they set it all up. They showed me how to tighten things, loosen things, how to set up the bike seat. They set it up towards my hip height. So when you do stand next to the bike, you want the bike seat to be at your hip. And then you want from here to here to be from the bike seat to your steering, your steering wheel, <laughs> you know, your handlebars, but they show you how to do all that. They tell you all that information. They give you all the pointers. They show you how to adjust everything. I mean, they show you top to bottom what to do. So don't worry. They also kind of get into the app and show you stuff on the app. At least my guys did. They were wonderful. So don't stress about that part because they show you. Okay. So, the app itself, I set up before they came here. You can you can download the app on your phone. The cell phone ver mobile version is different than the tablet version. I definitely like the tablet version better. It's just more user friendly. So I don't ever use it on my phone anymore. I just had set it up before, but technically you can do these classes from off of your phone or on your bike. So there are a lot of additional classes like um, weightlifting, body weight, yoga, all these different things that you can get on that app that you're paying for $40 a month for. So you can use that screen. You can actually turn the screen completely to the side. So if I wanted, I could sit right here and do yoga, you know, do weightlifting stuff, all that. I personally have not checked them out yet. 
So I can't give you guys like a detailed thing about those or if I love those, but people say that they're good, so. You can buy the bike and not buy the subscription, but I don't recommend that. Um, but there are times where you can just do ride um, and I do that a lot. So, I mean, I guess if you're just more into like watching TV while you ride and stuff like that, you don't have to buy the app. I do that a lot. I do the scenic routes a lot and I do the just ride a lot. Hey guys, editing Sophie here. So I just wanted to say if this was confusing, um, I want to clear this up. For the just ride or the scenic route, that is a part of the app. So if you just buy the bike, um, the app is not there. I'm not really sure what it looks like. If you just buy the bike, you do get the screen. So I'm not sure what you can do. I know obviously you could put resistance on and you can take it off, um, but I'm not really sure what the tablet does if you don't have the subscription because I've always had it. So just wanted to clear that up. The scenic route and the just ride is part of the Peloton app. And I am not 100% sure what the tablet does when you don't have the app. So I just wanted to clear that up, but now back to the video. So the scenic route, it just shows you, you can pick Utah, Grand Canyon, and it just like has like, you're, you're like a little biker and it just shows you from that perspective, like that you're biking through the streets. I don't know if they did like a Google map thing, you know, where they're just like going through that actual area and you just see the actual scenery, but it looks very legit and it is really cool. I just turned the volume completely down. I listen to my own music and it keeps the stats for me. If I'm watching TV or something, there's Just Ride where it keeps your stats, but there's nothing on the screen. So you can watch TV, listen to music, do other things and not be like sidetracked by like a scenic route. But I do do that a lot because I just like to watch my shows. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna bike for a whole show of 45 minutes. And then I go as hard or as easy as I want. And that's my workout for the day. So I really do love that option. Now for the spinning classes, I personally love Cody. He's my number one main squeeze. And this guy named Ben. I also like this girl. I forget what her name is. I'll pop it on the screen here. Um, I haven't tried a ton of different instructors. When I go to work out on the bike, I need pumped up. I need to laugh. I need loud music. I need like fast, fun music or else I'd rather just listen to my own music, you know, or watch a TV show if I'm not going to be going hard. <laughs> you like how I'm doing this? This is a ponytail, by the way. I just, it hurts my wrist. Um, but yeah, Cody and Ben for sure are my top two favorite instructors. And then that girl, which I think her name's Emmy or Ellie. I'll put it up on the screen. They also have classes that were pre videotaped and then live classes. I don't really see a difference in either. So when I take a live class, it feels like the pre pre-made ones because they can call you out on there. Um, but it doesn't feel any different to me. So yeah, I like both, but it doesn't really matter to me. So if I see like, if I get on, it says in three minutes, um, Cody's live class is going live. I'm like, okay, I'll just wait three minutes and do the live class. But it honestly doesn't intimidate me or anything like that because I don't really notice that it's live, you know, but it is super fun. They have all different kinds of classes as well. So they have like 10 minute arm classes. Then they have 20 minute hit sessions. They have 20 minute classes, 30 minute classes, 45 minute classes, 15 minute classes. So there's definitely a range in there and it tells you what it is. It tells you the playlist of what they're going to be playing. It'll say like nineties hip hop and then you can go and see what the songs, what songs they're going to play, which is really cool and really helpful to me. I didn't know that at first. And I went into this one with Allie and it was like really slow Whitney Houston songs. And like, I love Whitney, but I was like, I can't do this any longer. And I went out of it. I'm like, why didn't I check the song? So you can definitely check the playlist and it's very helpful. So you know what kind of mood you're in is what kind of songs you're going to want to listen to. Okay. One of the questions I got a lot was if my butt hurt after writing. So I've gone to a lot of spin classes. So for me, it hasn't in a long time now originally, and I don't know how to say this in a way that won't offend someone. So I'm going to try to say it and you guys will know what I'm saying. It, when I first went to my first spin class ever, the next day I woke up and I was like, did someone beat me up down there last night? Like literally it feels like up your butt and into your crotch, you know, especially if you're a woman, you know what I'm talking about? Like that whole area, it's not just like your butt, it's like your whole area that hits the seat felt like it was battered and bruised. Like I was like, holy crap. And 
I had another spin class two days later. And the second I sat down, I was like, oh, like I tried to stand most of that class, but I will say as the class kept going, I kept getting like, it didn't hurt as bad, like, or it was just getting used to it. But after a week of going to classes and I felt that way and it sucked, I, I've never felt that way again. So initially, yes, it hurts so bad. And you can definitely buy off Amazon, these like cushion seats, cushion pants, all this stuff. But honestly, after a week or two, that feeling just goes away. Like your body just gets used to it. It's so bizarre. But yes, it feels at first when you've never spun before, it literally feels like someone just like beat you up down there, all down there. Okay. Like it's bizarre. You literally want to look at yourself and be like, do I have bruises up and down everywhere? Because that's what it feels like. <laughs> But after that, it's fine. So if you don't feel like you can handle that, definitely get a cushion seat and also get cushion pants. Some people always wear like biker shorts that have cushions in them. That can really help. Um, my sister actually got those biker shorts. She didn't get a Peloton. She got this other brand, which I'll tell you her review on this other brand as well um, when I go to see her soon. But she said it just helped and eventually she could do it without the bike, biking shorts. It just made the impact a little less insane. So definitely get cushion seats or cushion shorts if you're afraid for that. Another question I get a lot is for heavier men or women, do you think that you can do this? Yes, because I have a friend who's over 300 pounds and she has one. Now the seat does feel really small to her, but she just went ahead and bought a seat cover that's wider. Um, but she said that even when the seat cover comes off, she's fine now without it. I think it's more of a balance thing. Like you feel kind of off balance at first because the seat isn't very large, um, but she's fine on it. You just have to make sure no matter what, no matter how big you are, small you are, you have to stabilize the bottom of it. They'll show you. So on the end of each thing, there's like these little things you can turn to like push it down into the ground and you have to make sure those are stable. So on my first ride, I'm riding, sitting down, it's fine. Then when I stood up and I was like getting high resistance and pulling it, I heard the bike kind of move. So the next time I went down, I pushed those things a little bit more and it's been fine ever since. I do suggest you get the mat or put a yoga mat under yours if you don't get the full package because that thing does kind of move around a little bit and you do want that cushion underneath those so they can really just dig in there and it doesn't hurt your floor. I also suggest always putting a towel on your bike. You will sweat like crazy. So unless you have a big shirt, like I like to work out with sweatshirts on or long sleeves because then I just use them for my face and I also like to sweat more. Um, but if not, definitely get little towels for it. I just bought like a five pack of these little towels and I use those specifically for my bike and it works really well. Now for the pros and cons. So pros, I wrote build muscle and legs because I've noticed my butt and my legs are so much more muscular and leaner. So I love that. I am working out more because it's sitting right here in my living room screaming at me and I feel like a loser if I don't. So if it's hot outside, if it's raining, whatever, I have no excuse anymore. And if I'm just watching TV, I hop on my bike because I'm like, well, I could do 45 minutes and then continue to watch TV, but at least get a workout in. It's enjoyable, it's motivating, all of the teachers are very nice, so whether or not they're not your speed, they are still very nice, very upbeat, and very motivating, and I love it. They have great instructors, which I do love. I love that you can exercise in private, so like in the mornings when I roll out of my bed, I don't feel like putting on like really good clothes. I can just wear my sports bra and my leggings or whatever I'm wearing and jump on the bike. Whereas if I were to go to a workout class, I would kind of feel like I need to like brush my teeth, wash my face, put my hair up, you know, put a d decent outfit on to go. And I love that I can just exercise from my own home. The bike is silent. So honestly, you can't hear anything from this bike. When I'm spinning it, there's no noise. So the only time that there is, is if you don't put your earphones in and you listen to it out loud, which I do do that because I live alone, but no one can hear. Like when I am just, when I'm just listening to my own music or sometimes I have no music on and I'm about to start a TV show, I, I ride my bike and there's no sound. It's so crazy. And so it's super nice because if you do live with someone, sorry, I keep throwing this around. If you do live with someone and they're sleeping or you have kids that are sleeping or yada yada, it's soundless. So unless you're huffing and puffing or you're like, woo, like no one will know that you're on that bike. I also love the convenience of it. You can do like a quick 10 minute class. So you really have no excuse. So 
if I'm like, I don't feel like working out, I'll be like, well, just do a 15 minute class. And if after that 15 minutes, you don't want to do another 20 minute, you don't have to. You don't have to commit to a 45 minute class every single time. There are all different amounts of time classes. So that's what's really nice. If you're like, I only have 20 minutes, you can do a 20 minute class. Like, it's super nice and convenient. I also like that you can like look at your friend's stats. So if you do become friends with people on there, you can look at their stats, they can help motivate you. You can see what classes they're taking or have taken. So if they say, oh, I love this class I took today, you can look at their profile and see what class they took that day. I also love that there's like high fives that you can give people and you know, the instructors like call out people's names in the live classes like, oh, so spin, killing it, you know, stuff like that. So you feel interactive. Cons I would feel would be if your butt hurts at first, that would kind of suck. Um, I understand that that would, that would be annoying for like the first week because you're like, okay, now I have to wait a week or two to get used to this. This really hurts. Um, but like I said, padding would always help with that. Another con for me is the iPhone app is not as good as the tablet app. And the only reason why I don't like that is like if I wanted to just like kind of browse and look at classes, it's kind of a lot harder on your phone when I'm just like laying in bed like, oh, what class should I take today? So now I don't even do that. I just get on the bike and like look through classes right before I'm about to ride. So I would say that that's a con. Hopefully they'll update the iPhone app to be more similar to the tablet app. It's just not as easily accessible and not as user friendly. Another thing I would say is it is expensive. So. Like for me, it doesn't feel too much, too much because I was already spending about $200 a month on unlimited classes or at least every other month. So for me, I'm like, okay, I can put 150 towards the bike every month and then the additional 40, like, you know, is basically the monthly payment you have to make for this. So that's how I kind of deciphered it in my head. Now, obviously, there are not refurbished bikes everywhere. My friend tried to look for one. They said that they didn't have them. Some people said like, oh, we don't do that. So I don't know if that was just like, because they had one, they could sell it, but they don't really tell people about it or what. But don't assume you're gonna be able to get a refurbished bike because that's probably not the case. Um, so it is expensive, but if you, if you like spin classes and you like classes in general, I just feel it's worth it because it's right there, it's convenient for you. If you don't wanna pay for the app for a while too, so if you discontinue using the bike, um, you can discontinue paying for the app. So if you decide, you know, screw it, I don't wanna use this app anymore, you can just do bike rides without the app and cancel the app's fee. So you definitely can do that too. Overall, you guys, I love this bike. I love having it. It has motivated me a lot. It helps me get moving a lot. When I don't feel like going outside in the heat, when I don't feel like going outside in the rain, when I don't feel like going anywhere, I just get on the bike. And even late at night when I'm just kind of in a blah mood, I'll just get on the bike and just pedal while I'm talking to my sister on the phone or while I'm watching my TV show or just whatever. And it just helped me to get moving more during the day. So my review is that it's a positive review. I totally think it's worth the money and I love it. There are other bikes out there that are less expensive. So my sister got one that was less expensive and I really want her review on that. So when I go to Florida, I may have her do a video with me and see what her review of her bike is. I can definitely do a review of that. So please comment down below if you think that that would be beneficial. I'm going to her house September 3rd through September 10th. So we can definitely bust that out and get that out for you guys in September. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't because it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and sometimes on a random other day. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.